And in that space, relax your hands, relax your head, relax your shoulders, your arms, relax your chest, relax your abdomen, relax your legs, relax your knees, relax your calves, and relax your feet. Allow yourself to feel the connection to Gaia through your feet, through the carpet, through the concrete. We have dirt underneath. And radiating up from Gaia is a planet that knows you. It's a planet that knows your name. It has a memory of every footstep you have taken on the planet. Every epiphany you have had goes into the crystalline grid. Every awakening you've had in every lifetime is yours here and now. Allow yourself to receive the benevolent energies of Gaia and the universe pushing into your heart. Breathe deeply and know that you are God. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. I speak to a live group, and I mean by that it's not this is a recording. And I'm aware, so aware, that there are many of you who have never had this specific experience before of sitting in a chair and feeling the energy that is present here of the channeling. There are many who listen to these channelings and they would recognize a pattern in this first one. It's a pattern of establishing belief. For so many of you, the, the voice is the same. For almost two hours, the presentation has taken place. The voice is the same as, as my partner. The consciousness is not. I often say that he steps away. What this truly means is this countenance and all he is steps from himself and he watches. He does not leave to the point where he cannot verify what is being said. He remembers what is being said. This is the process called channeling. We have said it before. This process has been around since the beginning. All of the indigenous did it at, at certain times, basically in ceremonies with permission. And often with their tools that they used Perhaps a talking stick was passed. And in that, the individual who got it would speak clearly of things they didn't know, which they called the truth. In some circles, it was called the circle of truth and the truth stick. There are many ways this was done in the past. This is not new. We've said this before. That in the modern churches today, there's even allowance for it in certain ones of their ceremonies and their protocols there is the understanding that humans speak to God dear ones if you could say well what is Crian's overall message can you boil it down just a couple of words uh, maybe a sentence or two I'd, I'd understand a little more about the agenda <laughs> that is here I'm not going to have to boil it down to a few words. I'll boil it down to one. Love. In certain languages, the word has 13 meanings. Love. It is not a simple word. The concept is used throughout humanism. 
all the way from looking at the child when it takes its first breath and takes your breath away and the incredible love that pours into the baby and that the baby never forgets. There's the love of an animal and the love back from the animal, the bond that goes between you and that creature with a beautiful soul that is so pure and without agenda. It doesn't matter whether it's, it's a mouse or an elephant. Love is love, and they all know it, and they feel it, and it's common to nature. Did you know that? If you're a tree hugger, did you feel it hug you back? Nature does that. And those who are invested in nature and want to simply lay in the grass know it. Those who want to plow the ground with their hands and plant things and, and feel the dirt under their nails, they know that. That love is universal. And then there is that between humans, between brothers, between mates and partners. It has so many variants, you might say. And yet all of it, at its proper form, is pure. And then there's the big one. The love of God. The love of God for humanity is not surpassed by anything on the planet that you have ever seen. The compassion that flows in the one direction to you, to you, to you cannot be underestimated. And yet, you've got to be convinced. It's so interesting about humanism in general that you're so giving of love. And yet when it comes to that which is the creator, the creative source, then you got to be careful, you say. you got to identify it. Who is it you're talking about? What prophet is it you're talking about? What doctrine is it? Be careful. You don't want to do the wrong thing. When the baby is born and you look into the eyes, are you careful? No, because it's so pure. That's yours. From your loins, this child belongs to you forever. The bond is set between souls that will last forever. Through the Akashic record, it never will die, that love. And you assigned it immediately, and you went there immediately, and you didn't ask questions, and you didn't intellectualize it. Why do you do it with God? I am telling you this. You are loved beyond measure. Perfectly, whether you analyze it or not, it's there. And in your, in your deepest moment of, of solitude and, and introspection, if you want to raise your hand and say, are you there? You'll feel the chills. Because you carry inside you a piece of this love. Dear ones, the prophets and the masters of this planet almost all tell you something. That inside the human being, at a level that isn't even chemical, there's a piece of the Creator. There's something there. There's a spark of God. It's different from any other any other creature on this planet. It's a, it's a kind of a soul. And that soul is the one that is eternal. We've talked about the different kinds of souls. But the one in the human being is the one that has a piece of it from the other side of the veil. God loves you so much. And I ask you yet again. Can you just wipe everything aside for a moment? And sit there and accept it? Do you have to really analyze it? Do you say yes, but, yes, but, yes, but? Or can you just sit there and go, I know it. And if you can be empty for a moment, an empty vessel just for a moment, and be filled up with this love, I will tell you that it's going to change everything that happens from then on. Do you know that your cells may be waiting right now for you to do this? I know who's here. 
I know the difficulties with health that is here. Your cells are waiting for a confluence of harmony in order to heal themselves. I'll tell you, you can feel it in your body. You can feel the healing occur when there is a confluence of love that lines them up in single purpose. It's not that complex. The chemistry of the body is immensely complex. The healing of the chemistry is simple. It has to do with compassion and love. You get an alignment going. And they almost together will create the whole human being. Disease will drop away. Health will come back. Energy starts to be increased. Even the things that are, seem to be irreversible will get better. Time after time, in meetings like this, and in churches throughout the world, this happens. Because the love of God then is seen and accepted, understood basically as love. And that's when things really start to happen. Dear ones, humans want to overanalyze everything spiritual. And there's nothing really to analyze in the love of God. This is what Cryon is about. And the secondary thing is the teaching of the new energy. You have passed from darkness into light. But you carry with you the attributes of what you were used to. I want to talk about that tonight. And a channeling that we are going to label right now called the great escape. That's it for now. And so it is.